guys. Double, 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 double. Well, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Maggie and I just got up here in the UP and we're gonna be doing a little salmon fishing on Lake Superior. We're gonna target salmon, we're gonna look for salmon, but who knows, we might have to fish for some lake trout too, but it's gonna be awesome, we're really excited. Just got up here, we're gonna go check into our hotel and uh, yeah, see what the trip has in store. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Well guys, we finally uh, found a safe place to troll here. We spent the first like three hours trying to find a safe place with all the commercial nets out here. And uh, we actually hit a ghost one that wasn't marked and we lost a dipsy diver rig in it and we were able to get a couple other rigs out of it. We were lucky. Um, but yeah, it wasn't marked at all. So definitely gotta be really careful out here and be prepared for that. Got a scream around, baby. <laughs> oh, got so angry on. Inside board, that's an eight color lead core there. We are in 80 feet of water. Oh! <laughs> Waking up on us a little bit. All right, bright day bite. Middle of the day, it's only about four o'clock. We just got set up in this spot. First pass. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, just full of it out here. It's a nice Lake Superior King, guys. That was on a seven color lead core setup and uh, with a spoon on a planer board. So finally found a good little spot to troll here out of all the nets and got a nice king in the boat, baby. What do we got going on here, girl? I don't know, but he's angry. <laughs> Just hammered that wire diver. Flash or fly combo. They actually marked that fish. That's gotta be a king bite. Oh! Oh! Been screaming some line. Mags on the hand line. There we go. See what our diver fish is here. Oh yeah. Nice flash or fly fish. Oh nice king. Nice Lake Superior King. Oh, I had to move this rigger. Okay, just a sec. 
Make sure I don't knock the GoPro off the net. Move this downrigger down. Okay. All right, Mags. Got some nets coming up at us here. Again with the nets. He is. And the net he goes. Nice job, Mags. Good job. Thanks. On the hand line. Just slapped a wire diver. Flasher fly combo. Another nice Lake Superior King there. For an eight, nine pounder maybe. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oop. Oh. Thought he was gonna flop there for a second. Got our first one on the diver for the day. The other king that we got was on a board, so yeah. I think this is only our second pass and we got about an hour and a half till dark still, so we're feeling hopeful for the rest of the day here. Woo! -hoo. I was just burning this thing back in, going to change the bait. I was going to put some glows on here before dark. And I was cranking this thing as fast as I could reel it. And a coho grabbed it. I mean, I was going to change the bait. Oh, I was going to change the bait. Oh, we got another fish out right here. Oh, definitely got into a pot of coho here. <laughs> <laughs> Have to get Max out of this now. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, we got one on that board. This thing's getting jerked back. Gonna we'll loosen up a little bit on him. Nice little pot of pot of coal holes here, guys. Nothing like almost knocking off your own fish. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. All right, we got him. Oh my god. Okay, here you go, honey. Look at all this bait on the bottom. Water ski time for the win. Jehoralus Capolis. Oh, there we go. More groceries, baby. This little nice, beautiful little chromers there, guys. Little mini, little mini chromers on the Michigan Stinger. Baits there. Oh, just some great table fare. We'll take those all day long, huh? Yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice one here, first one on the downrigger. Oh, there's a fish behind you right there, that board. Nice. <laughs> nice. On the turn. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Well, we've just had some crazy weather out here today, guys. When we first got out here, it was flat, calm, calm as can be, bright, sunny, and uh, it was just a beautiful day. And we weren't out here long, and the wind started ripping, got a little foggy, then it got cloudy, and the wind started ripping even harder. Now it's getting calm again, finally, but the clouds are starting to leave, and it's starting to get a little bit sunny here late this evening. So we've just had all kind of up and down weather. What we're pretty much doing right now, guys, is the water's really cold. I mean, we got 49 degrees on the surface right now, so these fish are scattered anywhere. I mean, we you can catch a king when the water's like this, five, 10 feet below the surface, or you can catch one 100 feet down. So what we're doing is pretty much covering all different parts of the water column. Now out here, since we've had so many nets around, we've kind of run our baits up a little higher than we usually than we usually might, just to kind of avoid some of the nets and some of the problems. So we've ran our boards, we've ran 
five, seven, and eight colors of lead coal line on our planer boards, and those have been our best producer. Then we've run our downriggers at about 30 and 40 feet down, and we've run one diver. We have one diver with the flasher fly that's gone a couple times on some nicer kings, and uh, we've ran that about 100 back. Well, and that's a mag diver on the three setting. Now that 40 to 30 foot range has been real productive, and we've been running mostly spoons. Spoons have been mostly our have been our best producer mostly today. We did have a couple bites on our flash fly on our diver, but spoons have been really productive for us today. Now we've been running kind of a whole variety of colors really. When it was bright sunny, we ran a lot of oranges, yellows, and stuff. And you know, yellow, yellow, chrome kind of in that color scheme was real productive. And uh, as it got a little more cloudy, you know, blues and blacks, those darker colors started working a little better for us. A little sun down fish out, baby. I'm down, Rigger. Just smack that thing too, man. <laughs> Gotta be another king. I don't know if it's a big one, but I love his enthusiasm. And he's trying to run our planer board over. <laughs> Just a little guy, but jeez! Oh. Oh, it's up her! Knocking your own fish off. <laughs> Jeez, man. Gosh. I deserve to lose that one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Dude, I was going to put the line in the release clip and the coal slapped it right off the surface. Oh man, I might have to bass boat this. We still got a king of the nut. <laughs> Shoot! I was had the line wrapped in my hand, and I was going to put in the release clip, and something just starts ripping on it. Jeez, right on the surface. That was awesome, man. Oh, that's like the old days on Lake Michigan. Oh yeah. Nice little coho there. Nice. Man, how cool. That. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. That was just like, you know, the old days on Lake Michigan when the lake would flip. Gosh, that was pretty neat. <laughs> well, that was a cool little snatch there. We caught the this one, 30 down on a rigger. Then I was going to put it back out, had the line in my hand, I was putting it in the release clip, and I started to feel something tugging on it. Got a nice coho right on the surface. Maybe we're fishing too deep for the coho, I don't know. Might have to flatline a spoon back there or something. <laughs> pretty cool, man. <laughs> Well, we ended up having an awesome first day fishing on Lake Superior. We caught six king salmon and got a couple of coho too. So we were pretty excited about that and we were super excited to get out for our second day of fishing. But before we show you guys that, we wanted to show you some B-roll we filmed actually from a little bit of the adventuring we did while we were up here this trip.
fish in the morning, guys. We got a little screamer on here, baby. <laughs> oh, he's coming at me. Coming at me. Oh. We found a king here early this morning. He's coming at me. Right on the turn, too, outside board. That was a, uh, oh shoot, oh shoot, whoa. Definitely a king. Maybe a steelhead, too. Outside board on the fast side on our turn here. We just got all of our lines set up in the water and we marked some fish, so we got everything set up and we're turning back around. And he hit on the turn, three color lead core. Got a moonshine spoon on there, baby. All right, guys. Nice king there to start the morning. Not a monster, but he's a good eater. About a, probably a six, seven pound king. Just got hit. Doubled up out here. Got a good one on there? I think so. <laughs> oh. Full of a little energy this morning. That makes one of us. <laughs> Scrapper King there. He fought pretty hard. Feels like it's April out here. Did not dress right for this. It's uh, about 50 degrees and the wind's just coming out of the north. Or I mean out of the southwest I should say it at about 20 miles an hour but we're just fishing you know, pretty shallow water right up next to shore, so it's not too bad, but it's cold out here. It's more cold. All right. Little, little mini chromers, huh? Yeah. Nice little cohos. Can't beat some Lake Superior cohos. Got a heck of a rigger bite. Got some 
life, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Little rocky out here. The lake is getting angry out here. Blake some kings up though for us. We're just about to pull in our lines. It's getting, getting starting to get really windy out here. And just had a good bite. Okay, here we go. Tangled up in the letty. 